Hello, this is Daisy. She's a dog. She's also a puppet. And a lot of people have been saying, where did you get that dog puppet? Where did you buy it? And I say, I didn't buy it. That's right, I made the puppet. And then people say, can you send us the pattern for the puppet? And unfortunately, I'm not a professional puppet maker, so when I make a puppet, I just sort of dive in, and it's probably not the best way to approach puppet making. It's better to have a plan. However, she turned out great. And what I can do is I can do a little bit of a show and tell to show you how she's made, as long as you don't mind. Do you mind, Daisy? She doesn't mind. So I start with big hunks of foam, much bigger than these little scraps here. And I carve the shape of a dog's head and I make it hollow so I can fit my hand inside of it. Once I finish carving out the foam and it's all hollowed out, I sew and glue all of the faux fur onto the shape of the puppet head. Now most faux fur is pretty short, right? But I ordered this extra long shaggy stuff. For the mouth, I used very thick cardboard, kind of in this sort of shape. And inside the puppet's head, this is what my hand looks like. That's how I control the mouth. Now I made her nose out of air dry clay and I painted it black and also her teeth are made out of clay and I glued them into her mouth and I tried a few different tongues and this is the one that ended up being the one I used. It's needle felted. Her eyes are a thin piece of glass with a photograph of an eyeball glued to the back of it so that's why they're shiny and realistic looking and I sewed her ears on. And this is what the puppet looks like when it's on my arm. It's a basic glove puppet. One hand controls her head, and then my other arm inserts into Daisy's arm entirely to put the other glove on my arm, which is how I control it. Once I got all the fur glued on, it was a lot of hair cutting and hair trimming to make her into more of a dog shape and less of a Sasquatch shape, which is what she looked like before her hair cut. She also has these cute little flowers in her hair that I love giving away to kids. It's just a hair clip with a piece of felt glued onto it that I cut out in the shape of a flower. So that's about it. Daisy likes to give high fives. And she likes to give hugs, right? You want to give a hug? Okay, she says yes. Uh, and sometimes she likes a kiss on the nose. You want to wave goodbye? Okay. <laughs>